And let's go to CTV's Rachel Aiello. She's got more details on the deal. Rachel, good morning to you. So tell us about this tentative deal carved out overnight. We woke up to this news. What can you tell us? Good morning, Marcia. That's right. So for those 120,000 Treasury Board workers who are planning to put on their rubber boots and head out for another rainy day of picketing, well, now they have to go back to work. They are now, as of 9 a.m., supposed to be on the job. That's because this tentative deal has been reached between the union, PSAC, and, and Mona Fortier, the Treasury Board president, bringing to an end what was one of the longest or most, you know, largest strikes uh, in Canadian history when it comes to federal workers. So we're still kind of parsing the details details here, Marcia, of exactly what has been put on the table. The wage number that the union has put out and the wage number that the federal government has put out are not quite the same. The federal government is saying it's 11.4 percent over four years. What we were talking about um, basically up until now was a 9 percent wage offer that the federal government had put on the table, but they moved off of that in what was a final offer, they said, this weekend. So clearly what they came to the table with was satisfactory. There is also um, wording in the agreement that will touch on some of the other issues that the union had. Uh, that includes protections around telework. There's going to be committees essentially set up so they can hear employers' concerns, more protections around ensuring that they can still work from home. Uh, there's also a new uh, one-time $2,500 top-up uh, for these striking public servants, 0.5% uh, allowance in their third year, uh, changes to some leave with pay for family reasons provisions, and Marcia, a new benefit for Indigenous public servants who can take time off that's paid to participate in traditional uh, ceremonies and events. Okay, now what about the CRA workers? They're still out. What's the latest on that front? That's right, Marcia. So today is the tax filing deadline and those 35,000 uh, public service uh, workers who work for the Canada Revenue Agency are still on strike. Uh, the people representing them at the bargaining table issued a statement this morning saying that they are starting a blitz of negotiations. So surely I think they're probably wanting to tack on to this momentum and, and see that the federal government come to the table with a deal for them that puts those workers back uh, on the job given this, you know, <laughs> highly important tax time. Uh, but for now, CRA remains on strike. All right, Rachel, thank you so much for that. You're right, it is wet and miserable looking there in the nation's capital. Um, yep. Appreciate that. Give us any updates as soon as you learn about them.